I know a thing or two about poverty. I spent my childhood in a house headed by a single mom, and sometimes we would have milk, gravy, and biscuits twice a day to save money. See, that's her and me. She was trying to feed me. Wasn't doing such a great job. I borrowed notebook paper from my cousin because we were pinching pennies. We didn't have cable. We didn't have cell phones. We didn't have any of the stuff that kids today have. See, we rented a tiny house in a small town, and I was known by my classmates' parents as being the kid from the broken home whose mom didn't have much money. But here's something. My mom never went on welfare. We never took entitlements. She worked three jobs, and I pretty much lived at my aunt's house and with my grandparents, but she never once went on a single food stamp. Nothing. She made minimum wage, and we survived. And she, you know, she, she, you're free to pursue happiness. She was free to pursue happiness, but nobody said that it was going to be easy. easy is, easiness isn't a gift to you. It's not, you're not entitled to easy. She made her minimum wage, and when that minimum wage wasn't enough, she took a second job that was also minimum wage. And then she took a third job that was also minimum wage. And she sought and she received job training so she could get a better, high-paying job. See, she did not want to choose poverty. Some people may choose poverty. And I know in this very sensitive time, it's politically incorrect to say that poverty is a choice. But really, when you think about the options and everything available to everyone today, it is. My mother did not choose poverty. She may have been born with it, but she didn't choose it. You cannot tell me that poverty is forced upon people. That's a lie. And it's a lie that survives because a particular political entity lives on the power of grievance. This isn't a feudal system. But yeah, that's what the left is still trying to sell, though. That, you know, you, you have to stay in whatever class you're born into. You don't, you don't have to stay in the class into which you were born. Our president is a testament to that. The majority of Americans are testament to that. Yet that isn't the way that D.C. handles poverty. No, see, every manner by which poverty can be alleviated is restricted. It's regulated. It's prohibited from working. Lower corporate tax rates so we can spur job growth? No. Lower capital gains taxes so we can spur incentives to invest? What about consumption taxes over the current system? See, there are so many steps that we could take to spur jobs and reduce welfare dependency, but the government makes it so easy to be dependent. When you talk about cutting programs, a lot of Republicans don't even want to have this discussion. I remember there was a Republican candidate from Missouri who once told me he wasn't going to have the discussion about privatizing Social Security because it was a, quote, unpopular idea. So many things are off the table because everyone wants to say that they represent the poor and the downtrodden. Well, that's great, but where are your ideas? See, we need new ideas. We just actually need some ideas, period.